I think that the future is that we continue dialogue with those who are um, available for this dialogue and uh, at the same time that we we remain what we are so we cannot because of dialogue be then also com made a compromise of what we are at the same time we somehow have to review some points that maybe are not essential in our faith or in our expressions but that could this uh, revision and this uh, development can also help to meet better the others and to to grow better together in in, in the one church of christ so uh, um, how it will develop it's very very difficult to say i think that when uh, the people someone are uh, today maybe some are discouraged because there is already 50 years and they don't see big results but i say 50 years is still uh, very few if we are looking on more thousand or more than thousand years of division but important is that we are doing today what today is possible and to be, to be able to see the small steps forward and they are and i can witness for many of them in my uh, work and if you are going step by step there is something happen maybe only after another 50 years or 100 years but the important is that we are going on as saint paul said i didn't reach the the goal but i'm i'm running i'm trying to do what today is possible there is one um, reason well known and uh, there is also the theological dialogue in this moment is about the primacy of the bishop of rome uh, the question is this that uh, in uh, orthodox tradition the bishop of rome was always seen as the first among equals but not as someone who have power in the universal church about others but as one among equals but in the catholic church especially in second uh, millennium this primacy had developed a lot and now the the role of the bishop of rome of course is much it's quite different of that of the first millennium and uh, there is a big question how to do to first to see how it was really in the first millennium because also about this there are different visions uh, from orthodox side or catholic side and then especially uh, this development in the second millennium uh, is there anything possible in our catholic church to change so that the orthodox church would be possible to accept or if the orthodox church can accept some changing and so on so there is uh, to search together how this role of the bishop of rome should be exercised that be could be acceptable for all we know that uh, blessed john paul ii already in his encyclica autonom sint somehow invited also orthodox uh, uh, church to, to reflect together with us about this issue and there is something going on slowly but there's one concrete uh, uh, question that it's maybe uh, the crucial one Yesterday we were talking about uh, the mission and uh, there are three dimensions very important. The mission is service of faith, uh, promotion of justice and uh, collaboration. And I think that all three dimensions uh, we can somehow see also in relations with uh, ecumenical dialogue. So promotion of faith or service of faith would be stronger if we could do it together with orthodox if we learn more from their tradition so we know that there are also catholic churches from oriental right but uh, and we learned a lot in uh, special after second vatican council about their tradition but more contact with them more relation with also help us to appreciate more this very rich tradition of Christian East in promotion of uh, 
uh, Christian faith. And also justice. Sometimes we don't see that there also in their churches or in many Protestant churches there is a big work for, for justice, for ecology. And uh, again, if you are doing it together, it can be more witness to the world than if you are doing only alone as Catholics. And also collaboration, it can be really collaboration also with them. They have, there is many things to be done together and uh, we can enrich each other. This could be one concrete example. It's still uh, very general, but still uh, related to this uh, discussion that we have.